for the Future Shop Adrenaline title. Introducing first then, Sharon from Manchester. He is a former Future Shop Tag Team Champion, a former Future Shop Trophy Holder, a former Future Shop Champion. He is a man so extraordinary, he leaves Shakespeare tongue-tied and Houdini in handcuffs. Describe that man there, Jack Gallagher. And introducing the champion from Blackpool. He is a former Future Shock Tag Team Champion and he's the self proclaimed most illustrious Future Shock Adrenaline Champion to date. He is the current reigning, defending, undisputed Future Shock Adrenaline Champion. Disgraceful. I, I really try, really try, Chris, not to be biased, but I want Jack Gallagher to win this. <laughs> it's our main event. It's a Future Shock Adrenaline title match. It's Jack Gallagher versus James Drake. James Drake, who would not answer the phone to Future Shock Management, who would not answer his emails and was given an ultimatum. You contact us, I believe it was May the 31st, you contact us by May 31st or we will review your status as champion. And he replied, well, James Drake disrespects the belt, but he still wants to be champ. Please. Clearly. He sent us a video, a video stating that he would return today, July, well, well, I can't even think of it, May 22nd at the Stockport Guildhall, he would defend his title if we, as Future Shock, provided him with a suitable challenge. Well, I don't think you can get more of a challenge. He said, challenge of a lifetime. I think he's got that. <laughs> with the... He may be regretting his words. Now he's in the clutches of a complete wrestler. Oh yes. The peerless Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher. Jack Gallagher always was destined for greatness. But he has deliberately travelled the world, Japan, everywhere he's been he's learnt new things. Everywhere he's been he's bring something new to the game. And that's where this extraordinary moniker comes from because he's got something new from everywhere. Look at that. What did I say about something new? He is like smoke. It's like trying to trying to grapple fog. He, he has an answer to everything that you can do. An escape opportunity. The, the man who put Houdini in handcuffs as our colleague mentioned. He did. It was very nicely put. Headlock applied by James Drake. Gallagher off the ropes. Escape, but the shoulder black takes down. Gallagher. Um, a very eloquent man. A very. A, just a, 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 an honour to know Jack Gallagher. But when he's in the ring, my goodness, he'll tie you in knots. James Drake there. I think he's ahead on points. For the time being. Headlock takeover by Drake now. Shoulders not down. He, oh, he's, he's in, he's, is he in control? Of he's the got their head. One? He's got their head. If you control the head, you control the rest of the body. It's a cliche, but it's true. <laughs> Referee checking for submissions and the shoulders being down here. The headlock on the ground. But Gallagher. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. Nothing to it. Takes his leg, catches the arm. <laughs> what is this? Uh, it's a knot. <laughs> right, okay. James Drake, I can't 
that's his face, but I can guess what his expression is. Oh, you've got to believe he is seething. Thunderous. Seething. <laughs> is he going to tap out to himself? Uh, oh. Have a seat. Oh, obviously a gentleman crosses his legs. Someone get that man a cup of tea. He, he said at the start of the night, we, we've heard from Jack Gallagher tonight, he said, what's in a name? And he, he inferred, what would be oh more dear. extraordinary than becoming... Oh dear. Oh. oh dear. Oh, he needs a better run-up. There we go. I think he curved that in no. round the wall and into the top corner. Now, you can, you can go a long way around the world, see as many wrestling matches as you care about. But a kick to the bum is a kick to the bum. At this point, it's... Again, the hubris of James Drake, the, the, the pride that comes before a fall that he well, he requested, not just an opponent, not just a challenge, but the challenge of a lifetime. And he has to be regretting his words to some extent. Well, you, earlier you mentioned Jack Gallagher. He had some strong words for James Drake, but he also said this is his opportunity to become the first ever Future Shock Grand Slam champion. Champion. Tag team champion. Trophy, trophy tournament, winner. tournament winner. And the adrenaline belt, our newest championship, the final piece of the puzzle. No one's got that. No one has held that. There are only a handful of men who could do that at this point. Irish whip. Gallagher. No. Head. Off the ropes, shoulder block. James Drake, incredible quickness. Just captures the legs. Oh, but no, the leg, but the momentum over goes James Drake outside to the ring. Regroup one more time. He's 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 right here. He is seeking higher ground right now, and and I think from the look in James Drake's eyes, he might regret in some of his words on Future Shock access. We well, asked for the challenge of a lifetime, and he's got it. Oh, very polite, Jack Gallagher, offering to let him in. As a greater man once said, greater man than me once said, keep your words soft and sweet, as you might end up eating them later. <laughs> and uh, nice. James Drake may have plenty of time to digest his choice of words on the way back to Blackpool without the adrenaline belt at this rate. Well, here we go. He's back in the ring, but he's got to be flustered. He's got to be. Chuck Gallagher's just one, running one step ahead. Yeah, he's running ragged. James Drake is normally a very confident man. He normally takes control of his opponent. But this is the sternest test to date, and you can see it in his eyes. He sees the gravity of what's in store. Gallagher looking for a test of strength. I'm not sure that James Drake... Well, what, um, no, James Drake. Oh, there we go, it's a poke to the eye. Off the ropes, Irish rip reversal, but he's still, he was still holding the eye and he got, he got punished for it. If you, if you've ever caught yourself in the eye by mistake, or got something in your eye, your eye waters, and it doesn't clear up straight away. No. And James Drake, I think, well, noticed disrespectful again. He, he saw that there was no... Opportunity for him to out wrestle yeah. Jack Gallagher. So he did what he's done since the start of his adrenaline division championship reign. He has Elbow drop. taken a step further. He has changed the game. And this is when we've seen James Rank at his best, when he has been in control. Whoa, that he bounced him off the rope for the extra momentum, right in the kidneys with that forearm shiver. Two times now. Twice. He has changed the game. When it was about catch as catch can, he wasn't going to get the best of Jack Gallagher, because frankly, who is? Who can? Marty Jones, at retirement and his prime. Johnny Saint, Johnny Kidd. Backbreaker. And just tosses him away like rubbish. Like he threw the belt aside earlier. Ah, uh, yes. He hasn't, he's known, he's realised he cannot go hold for hold with the extraordinary one, so he has created separation. He has created his distance to strike. Well, he's dished out some down. serious strikes now. Jack Gallagher clutching his stomach. Hoists him up. Snap suplex, floats over. Kick up by Gallagher. You see, 
trying to lock in a hold for Gallagher instinctively. This is the nature of Jack Gallagher, his, his cross training in martial arts, in judo, in Brazilian jiu jitsu, in catch to catch down. As soon as James Drake tried to apply the hold, Jack Gallagher stopped him fully applying it. He's a grappler. He's, he's nothing short of one of the greatest grapplers in Britain. It's, it's, it's beyond thought, it's instinct. Yeah. As soon as he feels it, blindfolded, he would know what hold you were trying to put on him. Build him to the outside. But Gallagher on his feet, Gallagher got kicked in the face. This is James Drake is striking huge blows, taking the opportunity to hit a big manoeuvres to keep Jack Gallagher off his own. And he seems to have found his tactic, you're right, the strikes rather than the grapples. Every move is huge. Oh yeah. Every impact is percussive. Swinging elbow drop gets him a two count. But you can see pain etched into the face of Jack Gallagher, very, very much in contrast to his demeanour at the start of this battle. Yeah. I mean, at no point was Jack Gallagher going to underestimate James Drake, but he's learning that there's, there's still fights, despite the disrespect, but that elbow drop missed. And Jack, his vision may still be impaired. Oh! That was on the button twice, two drop kicks. Close eye missed off the ropes. Flying cross body. Kick out, kick out by Drake. And Jack Gallagher win win the fire. Body drop, no. Looking for the double leg cover. Capture. Kick out by Gallagher. Double leg cover. Here we go. Another pin cut. This oh well, Mike's earning his money. Right, oh, they're rough though. Both trying to get the momentum, both trying to get their opponent down for the three count. I don't think Mikey Fitz knows whether he's coming or going at this point. Double leg. Cradles him. Oh. It was that cradle that got him the two count, nearly the three. Certainly gave him Fitzy a workout. I'd love to see what his Fitbit says for this match. Oh, Jumps him. Roll through, single leg crab. That was outstanding! Jack Gallagher, known for using the king crab from that one through, but maybe, maybe the arm, maybe the neck is bothering him from those percussive blows because he hasn't hooked it in on both of James Drake's legs. But the grip, the figure four grip on that leg, vice leg, he needs to get to the ropes, otherwise he's going to lose that championship. He could only last so long. But there you go, would it have the been, rope break. Would it have been the difference maker had he been able to fully apply the King Crab? Would that have been very different? We'll, we'll never know. But credit to James Drake for not, not giving up the belt that apparently means nothing to him. Well, yeah, exactly right. It clearly means something. Missed with a drop kick in the corner. Catches the leg. In Seguri, rocks Gallagher. Schoolboy roll up. Was, oh. that, was that three? That two. Was two. Very close, two count. Discus Lariat takes him down. Oh. Another kick out to two and goodness knows what. What a feather in the cap of James Drake to defeat and retain, to well, defeat Jack Gallagher and retain his title and sending him away to Orlando, to NXT, to WWE with a loss. i tell you something, this might be the first defence of the belt since January, but it's a hell of a humdinger. Oh, a bow for the ages. The grappler and the striker, the wrestler and the fighter. Out goes James Drake. Series of waist lock reversals, but it was the momentum by Gallagher. Sliding drop kick through the ropes. Come on, Jack. Bring it back to the ring. Come on. Gallagher, you can't win the belt outside the ring. But you can lump someone right in the chops. Um, we've said that we had contrasting games. The striker and the grappler. But the grappler, he's a hell of a striker. Yeah, I, I, you, there is not a man in this world that should dream about messing with Jack Gallagher. Gallagher, uppercut. Drake's back in the ring now. Sander Cooper! Sander, Sander Cooper just smashed Jack Gallagher's face off the ring post. But that's... What, what business? But... Well, this is the... The referee didn't see it, so no. you can't call what you don't see. But, 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 all James Drake knows is Jack Gallagher's on the outside of the ring. So I don't, but he thinks Christmas has come early at this point. But I'm not sure James Drake even saw it either. No, but I, I'll, I'll put it this way. 
It's got a hysteric. I, I'm cynic as I might think. I don't think James Drake is going to turn his nose up at a count out loss. Oh, no. Gallagher's up. No, oh, Gallagher's down out. again. Oh, Gallagher. This is it. Is this. He's on nine. He's on nine. Oh, oh. That, was, that was so close. That was so close. Just a matter of seconds. Cooper's not pleased. I don't think Drake's pleased either. He was looking for the implant DDT, but Gallagher not ready to meet Mr. Mayhem. Dropkick in the corner. Spitfire dropkick. My goodness, both men down. Now the referee's counting here. If he gets to 10, we'll have a draw, and we don't want that in our main event for the adrenaline title. I don't think either of these men will allow it to go to a draw. What's under Co Sander Cooper's in the ring? Oh, uh, what? The, the, the referee now. called for the bell. The referee called for the bell after Sander Cooper. After you Sander Cooper kicked James Drake. James Drake has taken the, the title. The, the, he seemed pretty keen to get his hands on that, considering it doesn't matter to him. James Drake. Well, what other call could the referee make? Blatant outside look, interference. Look at the look on Gallagher's, on, on, on Cooper's face.